Hi everyone, it's me, Lisa Wilson, your Sunday School Superintendent, and I am back with our last week of midweek children's lessons. So this Lenten season, we've been following a journey to return. And on Ash Wednesday, we talked about Joel and the um, and his call to us to return to God. And then in the weeks coming through, we talked about returning to God, we talked about returning from denial, we talked about returning from false witness, um, and this week we are going to talk about returning from the kingdom of God. We've been getting some big words in here, and let's just talk about this a little bit. So. When Jesus died on the cross, we remember that a sign was put on the cross and it said, King of the Jews. Now, what makes a king? Is it how someone dresses? Is it a crown on their head? Is it simply a birthright because someone's father was a king that would make them a king in the future there's lots of things that might show or give the appearance of someone to be a king and though it might be something that they truly are going to be or it could be something that they're dressing up as now, as we approach Holy Week and um, Easter and all the things that we've learned about Easter over the years in Sunday school, um, we know that Jesus was taken to Pontius Pilate. And Pontius Pilate wasn't a king. He was a ruler. And he was in charge of keeping peace. And he knew that people were calling Jesus the King of the Jews. He wondered if it was true. And when Pontius Pilate first saw Jesus, he didn't think Jesus looked like a king. His idea of kings were wonderful robes and crowns and money and big homes and all those things. And here come they bring Jesus to him. He looked like a normal person. He wore just a regular robe clothing um, that people wore in that day. He had sandals on his feet. He did not fit the image that Pontius Pilate had for a king because he had heard about this king of the Jews. So his image of a king and what he saw in Jesus didn't match. And so he looked at Jesus and said, are you the king of the Jews? Because if his job was to maintain peace, and here was a man claiming to be a king of the Jewish people that could cause rioting. So he looked at Jesus and said, are you the king of the Jews? And instead of just saying yes or no, Jesus answered a little bit in a strange way. Jesus spoke the truth about himself and that's what he always did. And he said, my kingdom is not of this world. Now us sitting here 2000 years later, we know what he meant. He meant that his kingdom was the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God, not the kingdom of on earth or that um, had a, a castle and had money and a crown and all the things. He was talking about the kingdom of God. And he said he would rule the kingdom, not like any kingdom on earth, but he would rule the king and people would believe him and know him. And that confused Pilate a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we believe in Jesus and we follow him as our savior and king. And because we believe, that makes us a part of God's kingdom of believers. 
But this was all too much for Pilate, and he didn't understand what Jesus meant. And remember, he was supposed to keep peace. And because we believe, we know, and we can be thankful that we have faith to believe in Jesus as our king, and that he makes us a part of his eternal kingdom. Coming up on Sunday is Palm Sunday, and then we go into Holy Week, and we've talked about that in years past. And I hope that everyone has an opportunity during Holy Week to think about what Jesus did and what he gave up to die on the cross so that we can live knowing that being a part of the believers of Jesus and the kingdom of God, we will one day go to heaven and see him. All right, let's pray together. Dear Jesus, Thank you so much for making us part of your kingdom by giving us faith in you as our Savior and King. In your name we pray. Amen. I hope you guys have enjoyed these weekly children's Lenten lessons. And I really do hope that we are able to take some time over Holy Week starting on Palm Sunday on Sunday and uh, really remember what this Lenten season is about. Bye everyone.